Well, welcome back to my channel, and uh, I want to introduce you to a video here today. Instead of using the object that I'm making, I've got some photos of what I'm going to do. This is some compound cuts. This is out of a scroll saw woodworking magazine, the fall edition uh, for this year. I've already done one project out of this for the channel. Uh, I kind of like these, but I'm going to give it a twist. And you'll have to stay tuned to the end to see how this turns out. But I've taken the scrap out of my drawers and uh, cut them to size, glued them together, sanded them down smooth and flat, made some blanks. I've got each one marked with the, because they, they're made specifically for each pattern size wise. So I got uh, five patterns here. Two of these two go together to make this hummingbird. So, this is going to be unusual. Uh, this was better than wasting some more material. I, I make a lot of scrap material, and I hate to keep buying material and making scrap. So, I'm going to use some of it on this and make something kind of different looking. you got several kinds there. There's some oak and walnut and poplar. Uh, there's some bloodwood in there. Uh, not sure what all. There's some mahogany. Uh, there's mahogany right there. Most of that is poplar, looks like. Uh, this one's got some oak in it and mahogany, and that's some wingay right there. And it looks like that's bloodwood, and I got so, some uh, uh, walnut. So anyway, I'm going to mount the patterns. I'm going to go with the saw. Probably going to use a, a number seven blade. Uh, this is uh, mostly hardwoods. Hopefully it'll make some nice smooth cuts. I don't have to do a lot of work to smooth it out. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll get them mounted up. And we'll get to the saw and see how well they cut. I've got the patterns mounted. Uh, trying to get the, uh, the, the direction of the <clears throat> scrap to match the pattern the way I want it. Uh, we're going to see how this is going to work out. you got two pieces to that one. I've got the holes drilled. you got an in, internal cut there. Uh, there's an internal cut on another one. I don't have it laying here right now. And I've also got this right here. Internal cut on that one. And then you got the, the eyes for the owl. I went ahead and drilled that. And you're supposed to use a burner to burn the little nose on. We'll see about that when I get through. My wife does have a wood burning outfit. So, I'm going to get them to the saw. It's mostly external cuts. So I'm going to try to use a 7 because it's fairly thick wood. So let me get to the scroll saw and get set up and we'll start cutting on it. Okay, I got the blade in. Got it tight, set, ready to go. I'm going to cut this pretty slow. Uh, that's mainly, I believe, uh, walnut right in that section. Won't be real hard to cut. But that's the only internal cut on this one, and we'll have the two outside ones. So let me see how easy this is going to be to cut. Well, that cut a little easier than I thought it would. I hope the rest of it goes as well. Oh, let me get on and get this outside cut done. Got two large outside cuts. They're not real complex. Got a few sharp points in there. We'll have to work around. But anyway, here we go. Well, that actually cut much easier than I thought it would. Now I'm going to take it over the bench and I'm going to glue that in place so it'll stay lined up. 
and I'll flip it over and cut the other side. I switched over to a new blade, same size blade, it's a number 7 non-reverse tooth. Uh, that's a lot of heavy cutting and it gets warm, so keeping a fresh blade in. There, right there is blood wood. It's very, very hard to cut. In fact, I had the blade smoking it a few times. I've still got a piece to get out of there, but I'll work on that. 
Well, I put a fresh blade in again. My last cut was pretty tough. That little layer of bloodwood in there, and one one direction you're just cutting up and down in that one layer. It's a pretty tough cut for a saw. Uh, this one's got two layers of oak. Uh, not quite as hard, but it still could be tough in places. So I just put a fresh blade in it. So there we have just the raw cut. I haven't done any, anything else on it yet. Uh, that's the lowl. I just took a pencil and kind of marked where I want the uh, nose to go. I may burn that. Uh, I'm going to do a little sanding and cleaning on these. Uh, kind, of, kind of made an interesting little thing. I think theirs looks a lot better. I like the wood that it was done on. I like it might be pecan, but I'll have to, or walnut. I'll have to check that. <coughs> But uh, got uh, some sanding and cleaning to do on these. Um, I like the hummingbird. I like the way that turned out. The, uh, the odd woods in it kind of worked out nicely. I got to glue those wings on. I'm gonna put a little eyelid on there and see if I can hang it. So, but right now, that's that's where we are in the process. Wife well, suggested she's into jewelry. She's done a lot of homemade jewelry. Uh, putting beads or something in for the eyes and I may try that before I get through. We'll see uh, As we move forward, I'll do some cleaning and sanding and, and filing on these and I'll put some sort of finish to bring out the different colors of the wood and Make those pop a little bit. That's just like oak right there on the side but uh, Anyway, let, let me get that done and we'll see how they turn out so There we have my finished product of the this version this project out of this magazine and that was what theirs looked like and here's what mine looked like I used like I say I used the scrap that I put together I like their eagle better than mine that one was kind of interesting I kind of like the way it came out uh, the owl we I put some beads in for its eyes uh, I wish that one middle one had come out that dark one come out more in the middle, but it didn't, so that's where we are. But my favorite is the hummingbird. It came out the best of all of them, I think. And I really like the way it's, it looks. And it swings nicely there and, and rides nicely on that string. So anyway, that's my version of this little project out of uh, this scroll saw magazine. And if you like that, hit the like button. And... Uh, I'm going to try to pull more things out of these magazines because there's some interesting stuff in there. And uh, if you like that, well, please subscribe and I'll try to do more of it. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.